they're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Okay, uh, I'm to put this art back here to have some type of scenery and you can't even see it. Let's leave that right there. Let me move over here. Does that look better? Does that look better? Okay. I'm in my bathroom. It's kind of gloomy outside today and it's kind of gloomy outside today and so the lighting sucks and the next best thing is my bathroom. But my bathroom isn't all that either because it's kind of bland. I feel like this looks really stupid but I'm going to leave it here because it doesn't matter. I kind of just wanted like, to explain why I'm on a stepping stool too so if you see me adjusting a lot it's because my booty is uncomfortable but um, I kind of want to explain why I'm so like all over the place when it comes to my channel um, and for real for I feel like I haven't even captured the essence of what I want estrogen release to be I remember when I first decided that I wanted to create a channel I was like this is going to be bomb I want to talk about issues and things that make me upset things that get on my nerve, talk about people that get on my nerve. Like I had so many ideas. And then like once I actually started my channel, I don't know, I just felt like I veered off the path and it let me, it's leading me into a path of not being consistent with posting and uploading and all that cute stuff. So I just kind of want to explain on what, where I've been, what I plan on doing with this channel and my solution for fixing my channel. So like I said, I feel like I haven't been like completely 100% with what I want to do with estrogen release. Like I have a vision, but I haven't been, you know, I feel like I tipped my toe into it, but it hasn't been exactly what I want it to be or what I want it to look like. And um, I've had my channel for over a year now. Like, and I'm very thankful for the progress that I've made. It still surprises me that you know people sort of kind of watch and subscribe i'm not like trying to say like oh i'm not where i want to be but i know that if i commit more to my channel i can probably do more i can probably you know make much more progress and that's the plan you know i don't want this channel just to be something that i put on the shelf and never touch again like i really really want to do this thing and when I say this thing, I mean make YouTube or not even necessarily YouTube, just being a content creator, a media influencer. Like, I want to make this real. Like, I want this to be my career. Don't know how it's going to look. Don't know what products or companies that I would want to sponsor me. But, like, that's my goal in life is to do this full time, work for myself, and really do the daggone thing. And, I mean... It's just, it is what it is. My biggest problem is consistency. 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 That's, I mean, I've had this issue since I was a child. Like, I'll find something, I'll like it, and then stick with it for, like, a little bit, and then I'll move on to the next thing. Like, it's something that I have to work on, and I'm glad that I noticed it. I'm not like, oh, yeah, no, it's that's not the issue. Like, I'm glad that I know that I'm, I'm aware of that issue, and I'm on the path of fixing it like I don't want to be inconsistent for the rest of my life like I, if I, especially for something that I really like to do like I want to do it you know so I just noticed that that's the issue and that is like the root of my problem other part of the issue is that I lose motivation like I get discouraged really easily and it's not like oh I don't want to do this it's more so I don't feel like it and I know you guys are like, well, you just said you like this. What are you talking about? It's like I look at other people's channels and I'm like comparing myself, which is basically what a lot of people do. We all do it. We all compare ourselves to one another. But for me, it's like I have an issue of capturing what I want. So sometimes I get mixed in of doing what other people are doing. Like I know when I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be like, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Glad to have you here. We're about to have so much fun. Like I wanted to have that type of energy, but in all honesty, like I'm just not that type of person. Like 
that's fake to me. And if I continuously try to put that type of energy out there, it's going to be fake. And I don't want to be fake. Like, I want to show y'all my real personality, which is very, very, I don't know if it's versatile or versatile, however you pronounce it. I have a, you know, very broad personality. I can be loud sometimes, I could be quiet sometimes, I could be over the top and dramatic sometimes, and other times I'm chill. So it's like, for me, I want to get my personality out there. I want to show you guys, you know, who I am. And that's another part of what Estrogen Release is, basically bringing you guys along my journey and seeing the world through my eyes, you know. My eyes, that sounded really, whatever. But <laughs> I just feel like I've been kind of like, not fake, but I've just been trying to capture something that's not me. I've been trying to be a normal YouTuber and at the end of the day, to me, it's just corny. And when I look at my old videos, I'm just like, <laughs> in the words of my uncle, corn. Like, I just feel like mad whack. Like, it's getting to, it got to the point where I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to like, cut all, I mean, put all my videos on private. I don't want to look at these videos anymore. I don't want people looking at those videos. But then I was like, nah, let me not do that because that shows my progress, you know? At the end of the day, life isn't going to be perfect. You're going to have, you know, your curves and your roundabout and all the other cute comparisons to road anyway. But I mean, you know what I'm saying. Life has its ups and downs. And so therefore, this channel is going to have its ups and downs. And I need to be proud of that and walk in that more. You know, I need to be okay with my downfalls. I need to be okay with my mistakes and keep it pushing, you know? And so that's why I haven't, you know, put my videos on private, but that's how I was feeling y'all for real. And the third piece of this puzzle is that life gets in the way, you know, um, things come up, I get annoyed with life and I honestly, I just don't feel like recording. Um, surprisingly, it's a lot of work that goes into putting this, putting this on and, you know, finding an outfit that I like and getting in front of a camera, like it can be hard sometimes. And I'm just getting started, so I can only imagine when, you know, more things come and, you know, kind of make me, you know, knock me out a little bit. So, honestly, I just got to get better, you know, and I promise that I will. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like, and I don't, I can't put a time on it, but um, that's the goal is for me to be better. Me to push better quality videos, me to push better content, me to, you know, get better with networking, me getting better with reaching out to people who like, hey, do you want to be part of my estrogen release? Like, oh, do you want to talk about this? Or, oh, you know, and also exploring um, new venues, you know. At first, when I came up with my channel, it was just mainly going to be discussion-based, but I really like vlogging to a certain extent. Um, I really like capturing those moments and having you guys follow me on those moments, and I like you know, doing still videos and, you know, exploring different areas and capturing the weird things of that area and putting it into a montage. I like stuff like that. So, with the longer I have this channel, the more, more things that I am willing to explore, create, produce, etc. Every time I go into my job, I'm like, this isn't what I want to do. I want to do content creation full time, I'm using my hands a lot. Um, but it just it becomes more real. The more and more I go to work, I'm just like, no, I really need to get back to estrogen estrogen release. I really need to get back because it's where my I want to put my energy. It's where I want to, you know, take seriously. It's what I want to do for real for real. Not for fake, for fake. That was stupid. It's kind of hiding this bathroom. And I don't want to turn on the fan because if I turn on the fan, you won't be able to hear me. You'll just hear the fan. And another thing is just me getting comfortable. Like I said, kind of, I think I said this earlier, but me being comfortable in front of the camera as well. You know, I got to stop being so critical of how I look. I know. <laughs> I have so many videos that I never even touch because I look at the raw footage and I'm like, 
bruh, my double chin is on fleekity fleek in this video or I don't like the way my lips look in that video or my hair looks a little weird in that video. I just stopped doing it. It's, it's, I'm not going to get any content out if I keep doing that. And so it's another thing I got to get better with. Like, I really have to get to the point where I just don't care what people think. And um, a lot of people think that I feel that way because I kind of march to beat on my own drum. But I still have my days when I'm just like, oh, I hope people think this is cool. Or, oh, I hope people, you know, like this or whatever. I got to get out of that because at the end of the day, this channel, this is my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, I want to show you guys what you want to see and whatnot. But I have to do what makes me happy because that's where... That's where my energy is going to be. Um, that is where, you know, that's where my passion lies. So I can't really continuously worry about like, oh, you know, I look stupid in this or I sound dumb or, or should I really say this? Like, I just need to do it. Stop, you know, I want to say stop thinking. I wouldn't say that, but like, kind of like just go with the flow a little bit more. I'm really trying to like re-image my idea of my channel of what I want to talk about what I want to create the images like and honestly I just feel like the more like comf like more I become comfortable with my artistry I think that these type of things will, won't be as much of an issue you know I'm really trying to fall in love with videography and the art behind it um the art of editing um I know I can like capture a bunch of stuff and I'm like this footage is garbage but then I edit it and I'm like okay put some music behind it and be like okay I'm feeling it or whatever but I really it's just me it's really you know what I'm saying it's not like I have people in my ear saying like oh why did you do that I haven't got to that point yet but it's really just me and really kicking myself in the butt and like well I don't know if I should kick myself in the butt but more so just continuously to push myself to do it, you know, and just not like, you know, just be, you know, in one spot and just stay there and get stuck. And then three months later, I still have no content. Like I really need to be consistent and really need to push this content. I'm probably gonna say the word, I mean the phrase push content, push this content a lot. So get used to it. So I really just want to produce bomb content. That is my goal. That is what I want to do. That is what I will do. I'm actually going to speak that into existence. I will produce bomb content. And I won't rely on people's standards. I won't be over critical of myself. I won't try to be YouTube funny. I'm just going to be me. And if that's low energy some days, hey, it's going to be low energy. If it's high energy some days, I doubt it, but <laughs> that's how I feel, that's how, long, how I feel. I'm going to just do it, you know. I'm putting that out there, I'm going to believe it, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to believe it and I'm going to achieve it. But, yeah, that's just my explanation on where I've been, what I've done, what I've been doing, why. Like I said, I haven't told you that what I've been doing. Nothing. I just got a promotion at my job and still trying to adjust to that and it's been like weeks now so I need to <laughs> get adjusted already but I've just been having no energy I need to get back right on eating I say that almost every three videos because y'all when I say I start eating like garbage like bad and so I gotta get back to that I just gotta overall be a better me which is always a goal so Thank you guys for watching. Um, please talk to me in the comments. I don't really get a lot of comments. Um, I would like more. Um, just tell me what you guys think. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.